Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In this video I'll be reviewing Fabulous Sweet from Zara. So with a little background, Zara have a really good reputation for their perfumes. You can buy lots of different fragrances for reasonable prices and they get lots of attention online for sometimes being quite similar to well-known designer fragrances but also just in their own right for being long-lasting, fun, enjoyable, great scents. So I already own and love Ebony Wood and Bohemian Bluebells from the Jo Malone Zara collaboration and the day that I bought Fabulous Suite I picked up a bottle of Twilight Mauve. So I'll have to review that one soon too. Zara, I feel, is one of those um, shops, one of those brands where I've come to know so many of the scents, but have surprised myself with actually how few I have in my collection as yet. But yeah, I'm really excited about this one and I'll get into the review. Let's start with the packaging. You can see here, it's quite simple. You've got this nice 100 milliliter bottle that's clear with the coral coloured lid, I really enjoy that colour, and you've got the name of the fragrance, Fabulous Sweet, and then the Zara uh, logo there at the bottom as well. Um, I really like that the Zara fragrances all kind of seem quite simple in their packaging and their marketing. It really does feel that it's about the perfumes themselves. And if ever you do get something a little bit different, and I'm thinking of the range that has the little cartoon pictures on the front of it, then it's its own little theme in and of itself. But yeah, I associate them with simplicity, with lots of different colours to choose from, so that it almost becomes like you're just focusing on what the perfumes and the notes are. Even with the names of the scents, they tend to kind of be focused around what they're going to smell like, yeah, which is great. I feel like this simplicity is very kind of classic and mainland Europe, which, you know, makes sense when Zara is a Spanish brand. I enjoy this colour, um, but I won't be keeping the box. Although I do appreciate the quote that's on the front. So it says, Fabulous Sweet is the gourmand addiction sublimated in a fragrance. So yeah, all about the gourmands and you can see why I wanted to buy this one. In actual fact, I smelt this and bought it the same day because I was worried about it selling out and being hard to get hold of. And then you end up in the position where you're looking online at resellers and seeing them for you know way too high prices. So yeah, I picked this one up the day I smelt it and next we'll get into the notes. Let's get into the notes and the scent. So I'll give it a spray. Now with a name like Fabulous Sweet, yeah, of course I was expecting something kind of really sweet, foody, and lots of gourmand notes. And what I've got is something a bit different instead. It smells really good. And I found that every time I test this, I like it a little bit more, and I appreciate it a bit more as well. So with this perfume, in the top, you've got mandarin orange, pear, and pink pepper. In the middle, tuberose and coconut water, and in the base, tonka bean, patchouli, and vanilla. And I have to say, the sweetness for me is more in the dry down. And the sweet that I get in the opening is more of like a bright, that kind of juicy pear, fruity sweetness, a fruity pear orange sweetness, as opposed to anything, you know, that I'm into now, the kind of, the biscuit notes, the kind of chocolate notes that I talk about lots too. So. It is a lot like Libra by YSL, a scent I really love. So that's great. Um, they do share the vanilla and mandarin orange notes, so maybe that's why. And with the pepper, it's also reminiscent of SJP's Stash Privé scent, which is quite light and enjoyable. So it's got a little bit of that in there too. The tuberose for me puts this in that kind of white floral family of fragrances, which I've said so many times, I'm not typically into my white florals, but yeah, every now and then a scent comes along with something a little bit different that makes me think, well, actually I do, I like this, and it's kind of white floral. Um, yeah, so it's um, a bit like your Woman by Ralph Lauren and My Way by Armani. It smells really well done. I love the juiciness of the pear, and I think that's what makes it feel like a bit of a Sarah scent for me, something that I can enjoy um, myself. Yeah, it's good. Um, I think this projects really well. I think the longevity is also really good. When I wear this, I can smell it on myself throughout the day and it has that kind of classic feel to it. Yeah. 
yeah I really enjoy this I think it's a very uh, feminine fruity floral scent which with the name perhaps doesn't quite I mean I wouldn't have wanted to have bought this as a blind buy I would have expected something different so yeah, the, na the name is you know a bit of an interesting choice for me from the brand but nonetheless a really well done perfume I think Fabulous Sweet would make a really good day scent so I worked with somebody who pretty much exclusively wore Zara scents and she always smelled good and the perfumes as I said before it really projected well and the longevity was great which is what you want for a working day and I find them you know pretty classic and non-offensive so I think for like a kind of work wardrobe of fragrances the Zara ones are really good and I feel for myself as well that that's the kind of vibe I could get on with this something for feeling kind of professional like daytime yeah I think you would be feeling confident wearing a Zara perfume and especially Fabulous Sweet. Is it worth it? Yes I absolutely think that Fabulous Sweet from Zara is a worthwhile fragrance purchase if you like your kind of dupes as well and you like some of those designer perfumes I mentioned My Way and Libra as well then this smells similar to those so that's great people do enjoy Zara for their dupe fragrances so that's perhaps worth a Google or a look out for those too this 100 milliliter bottle was 17.99 I've still got my sticker here on the side I'm not great at uh, taking off stickers I'm, I get my nails done doesn't work for me um, yeah so that's a really good price point and I'm hoping that Zara don't change that I mean with so many prices of things going up I hope it still stays a place where you can get these really great long-lasting fragrances that project well for really good prices so as I said I picked mine up the day that I first smelt it I didn't want to risk it being discontinued and that's my kind of advice for Zara that if you love something and you can buy it while it's still there in terms of a wish list I had my eye on rose marshmallow candy from Zara but sadly it's not in store anymore and it's really difficult to buy so it's on some reselling sites but for quite high prices so I missed my chance with that one but I will keep an eye on the store and for me it's whenever I go to our seaside town Brighton that I absolutely love that I go into store and I have a little look at the scents as well so yeah I would have liked to have bought that one but as per my previous advice really it's a case of if you like the look of them when they come out you kind of have to get your hands on those Zara perfumes I hope this review has given you more insight into what Fabulous Sweet smells like. Please do chat to me in the comments about all things Zara and their perfumes, any you've owned before or would like to own, and also your white floral fragrances and those that you enjoy too. Please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe to my channel, and you can also check back on my other fragrance reviews as well. I'm over on Instagram where I post daily, I'm on TikTok, and I also have a blog. Thank you so much for watching and your support and I will see you next time. Click, click.